Alright, alright, we're awake. Good morning. It is early and already it is super bright out here. Today, we're gonna show you our daily routine. And you might be thinking, well, van life is crazy. You're doing something different every day, and that is true. So we put together a little schedule for you guys of what we would do in our ideal day in the life day and what our routine is like during that time. So. So we like to make our bed in the morning before we do anything else so we can get the van all nice and clean and tidy. All right, now I'm gonna go up. At 8 a.m. every morning, Ferris and I try and go for a walk. This helps us get out of the van, explore the area, and we also discuss what we're doing for the day. So after our walk, I like to settle down a little bit. I'll open up my journal, kind of just write down like my daily thoughts, what we're gonna do today, get myself ready, set some goals, and it really helps me stay grounded and also prepared for what we're gonna do later and know what we're gonna do later. <laughs> so as Ferris is writing in his journal, I take the whiteboard for its own walk and I go through all the videos that we're filming and I list out all the shots that we need. Some days we do use our griddle, but on most days we just probably have a yogurt I mean, at this time, after I write in my journal, I like to have my breakfast, but I usually have a couple things before then as well. But we are feeling a little lazy. We usually bring out our chairs and enjoy ourselves. We're on some BLM land today, and we do plan on moving, so I don't really feel like getting out the chairs. Normally, this bench is actually a pretty nice spot to sit, but it's been really dirty, so I'm just gonna sit on the trusty flip-flop. But, Cleaning is definitely something that's gonna be on our agenda today. The dirt has definitely accumulated. We've been four by fouring, we've been going off road. So the dirt's just honestly gotten everywhere and it does get tracked into the van. So we're gonna have a major cleaning today, I promise. I almost forgot coffee. We really don't do it early in the morning. We kind of like wait after we eat and then we have our coffee. I don't know, just how we do it. I use this electric burr grinder because the manual one just tends to get really, really slow and boring if you do it every single day. So this allows me to do a lot. It does take some power and it's really noisy, but no one's around, so we're going for it. That's not that bad. Now we have coffee for days. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing better. After making coffee, I use the extra water to make some oats. And then probably after that, it's probably a good time to put on my contacts, take these glasses off, and brush my teeth. I know, it might be weird. I wait after breakfast to brush my teeth. Call me crazy. Gotta take our daily vitamins. After we eat breakfast and I brush my teeth, now it's time to work. Let that fuel, that coffee settle in. Usually between like 9.30 to 11.30 is when we work. We like to use this time not just for work, editing and filming, but also if we need to drive somewhere as well. So today we're gonna do a little bit of editing and a little bit of working, and then the second half of it is gonna be driving to our second location where we're gonna spend the night. Hello? Very important business? Okay, I'll be right there. So we just did about an hour worth of work. Now we're gonna pack up the van and head to the next campsite. made it to the next campsite, so we're gonna get settled in and then make some lunch. Now 
now it's time for lunch. So earlier in the week, we usually make some chicken or ground turkey so that we can use it for salads and wraps. And honestly, that's pretty much what we do for lunch every day. So that's what I'm gonna make you guys. Today we're having burritos. We made some chicken and turkey the other day, so we're gonna use that with some quinoa, and we're gonna top it off with this chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is amazing. So I just sprinkle a little bit of that on there, and then I add all my toppings. Make sure to add some cilantro and avocado with that seasoning. It's to die for. So for toppings, we use this Trader Joe's salsa, salsa verde. It is amazing. It just makes everything so much better. So good, unbelievable. As always, the food was delicious and I even want more, but I think it's a good time as our stomachs are settling to clean the van. It's a chore that we don't wanna do, but we got it. It's getting pretty dirty. It's probably the dirtiest it's been since we've had the van, but you'll get to see what it looks like now to what it looks like then after we clean. So I wanna be super honest with you guys. The van, it's not always looking perfect. And it's been a couple days since we've cleaned it. Typically we clean it around every three days or so, but we have been off-roading a lot and it's been raining a ton. So mud is just everywhere. And honestly, when it's raining and we're hiking and it's muddy, I will put off cleaning a little bit so that's what you guys are going to see. And now I'm going to clean it up. So obviously our garage area is a little cluttered. So first thing I wanna talk about are these yoga mats. So normally we keep them on the door with Velcro, but because it's been so hot lately, they've just fallen off. So we got some more Velcro and Ferris is gonna hang these up while I'm cleaning. Then we got a bunch of other stuff. It just, it just accumulates, so we're gonna clean it up, organize it, and it'll look better, I promise. <laughs> This is embarrassing. All right, time for the best part, toilet scrubbing. Clean here. While Lisa finishes up the cleaning, I am going to start working, because I gotta get some of these videos out. I'm gonna download some of the videos that Lisa already processed, and I'm gonna start editing them. So, hopefully it doesn't take too long. <laughs> mm. Finished cleaning the van, got some work done. Thought we were gonna do a legitimate workout with some weights and stuff, but it's getting a little late, so we're just gonna go on an evening stroll bike ride instead. <laughs> I know we were supposed to get an actual workout in, but the bikes will suffice. It was a great ride. I love that we have these bikes because it just takes us to different places that we can't go on foot or just a lot easier with the bike. We try to do something every single day, whether it's walking, biking, working out. So today, we decided to be on the bikes. What you doing? In my shower, in my outdoor shower. Is it cold? Yeah. yeah. It hasn't warmed up yet. That's probably why I'm going first, so Lisa can get the warm one. <laughs> That's definitely why you're going first. I feel like it's been enough time. It's still cold. <laughs> and it's windy outside today. Some of you may be wondering, why aren't they using their indoor shower? Well, I just cleaned the van. So that's why. <laughs> cold? <sighs> yeah. Actually pretty chilly. The water's warm, but it's just so windy today. Our definition of warm is different. <laughs> this is all for not getting the shower dirty because I'm too lazy to reclean it. <laughs> Van life hack, freeze outside instead. Okay, that's like jacuzzi water, so it's not bad. It was cold, but it was worth it. Now I'm all clean. So now that we're all clean, we are starving. So tonight we're making salmon, veggies, and some quinoa. And I know what they say, don't make fish in the van. I get it, I get it. But as long as you keep the vent and the windows open, it, it, it's totally fine. 
I wanted to cook outside, but it's getting super windy. Might not even get a fire in. Man, our daily routine is getting messed up because of this wind and weather. So while the veggies and quinoa are cooking, I season my salmon and I season it with a ton of stuff. I use garlic salt, paprika, garlic powder, that chili lime again. And we got some seasoning salt and pepper. I swear, it's really good. So I'll put the salmon on the pan for about two and a half minutes on each side. Chris eats all the sides before the entree is even ready. Daily routine. Mm, great. <laughs> this is one of my favorite meals, and I love that it switches it up from chicken. Sometimes some salmon's just really good. Take a look at what Ferris saved to eat. <laughs> I can't wait. Ferris is terrible at waiting. It was, okay, today also was like a very like late, we ended up getting dinner later than we normally do. Yeah. Even though we're trying to do our daily routine. Almost every day kind of involves a little bit of driving, yeah. unless we're at a place, like same campsite every single night, mm -hmm. which we do here and there, but you know, it seems like we're always driving a little bit. The only thing we didn't probably do, which we almost do, I feel like every day is fill up on gas. Yeah, <laughs> we do spend a lot in gas. Yeah. But we don't, like work-wise, I would say there are days where we just go to the library or we sit in the van and just work, you know, a normal eight, nine hour day. So there definitely is that, uh, but we definitely wanted to show you kind of the full scope of everything we do. The day is still not done. <laughs> what is that face? And we're out. Day in the life. I'm gonna brush my teeth and do a couple things and go to sleep because I filmed all day today. What a night, what a night. Usually I like to end it with a little bit of chocolate, reading my Kindle, watching a show, kicking Lisa. So our night ends with me trying to figure out how I'm gonna get a good night of sleep. I wait, I lay like this. Oh my god, I almost died. So this is how I sleep now, diagonally. So Lisa gets all this room over in the corner. Literally crouch like a little ball, but I'm fine. I haven't had an issue yet. So we got some chocolate covered frozen bananas. They are seriously so good. So we're gonna eat these in bed, then we're gonna watch a show and maybe read a little bit of our books and then go to bed. That's it, that's a wrap. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Yes. As always, see you in the next one.